Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Capricorn placement. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn out there. The first message we have here is, I'm intrigued by you. So there's a masculine who's at a distance from you who is thinking of you way more than you realize, Divine Feminine. And for a very long time, they've been trying to figure out what makes you the way you are. Because just being connected to you has kind of subjected them to things that they were not ready for, okay? I'm getting challenged very clearly. So this is someone who has always viewed you as a challenge, especially when it comes to their emotional expression. This is someone who knew upon meeting you that this connection wasn't going to be an easy one for them. And although this made things interesting to them, it kind of put an edge onto your connection. It also made them instantly put their guard up with you. There's something about the way you interact with them that really stops them dead in their tracks. I'm getting the things that you do and the things that you say sit with them for longer than you know. And they feel like you know exactly how to make them ruminate over you in this way. I'm also getting that you're connected to a masculine who loves to be mentally stimulated. And their energy is coming through as very level-headed and also very logical. But what really gets under their skin is that when it comes to you, it's hard for them to operate this way. They can't simply go off of logic, okay? You pull on them emotionally in a way that makes them do things they wouldn't normally do. And although they are intrigued that you can make them react in this way, it also causes them to be very guarded with you emotionally. And they probably would never admit this, but they feel like you are the one person in their lives that is totally unpredictable. And this is pointing to your energy and how it affects them. And they secretly don't like this, okay? So if you've ever felt like your person is purposely being a little hot and cold with you verbally, you're right. So this may be very natural for them to react to you in this way. They actually feel justified in behaving this way with you because they feel like you know just what to say or do to tap right into their emotions. I'm also getting that there was some type of exchange that led up to this current separation. And this could have manifested physically or energetically, depending on where you are on your journey. And it's really messing with their mind right now because this time feels different to them. So instead of them looking away from you, it really has them curious about your true nature. You may not be aware of this, but the masculine energy I'm tapping into is actually taking a step back and analyzing you and your actions. So this has them wondering who you really are, Divine Feminine, and what really lies behind the things you do and say. And what's making this feel even more intense is that they know that this is your current process as well. You both are marrying one another very heavily at this time. And it feels like you both are analyzing one another. And this energy is very, very potent. There's like a lot of anticipation around the communication. And it feels like your person is having some type of adverse reaction to this separation, okay? So they may have initially thought that this was gonna go a totally different way. Maybe they thought that they were gonna allocate their time differently, but they're surprised that they can still feel so much of your energy. And they wonder what it is that you're doing to make them feel this way. So if you're wondering what your person is thinking about as it pertains to your connection, I feel like this is definitely giving you a peek into their mental and emotional process at this time. It's like they're trying to approach this whole thing from a place of logic, but you are continuously pulling on them emotionally. And honestly, it feels like there's so many things that are sticking out to them during this particular separation that they need you to clarify because it, it really doesn't make sense to them at all. It's like they want to be standoffish or they want to hold back but there's something about the energy of the connection or your energy that has them absolutely intrigued okay and this is making them look into you a little more 
Let's get the next message here. The next message we have here is, this should stay hidden. Hmm. I'm actually picking up on energy from you and your masculine with this card here. There are things happening in the both of your lives that you don't know how to discuss with one another at this time. And the reason you feel this way is because of the time and space between the both of you. You both are wondering if you're going through the same things behind the scenes, but there's really no way to tell, okay? And so you're kind of keeping this to yourselves. But what's interesting is that you have no idea that the both of you are actually creating these series of events by the way of your energy field and the connection of your chakra system. There's something very spiritual happening behind the scenes with the both of you here, okay? And the Divine Masculine is really having a hard time with this because this is someone who begins to feel really defeated when thinking about this connection with you and where it should go and how it should manifest. And what frustrates them the most is the actual form of it, the physicality of it all. And because there seem to be delays in this area, they completely shut down and have attempted to shut down their feelings for you multiple times, Divine Feminine. But there's something happening behind the scenes with them that totally is contradicting this. This is a masculine energy who is in love with you, okay? And their energy is reflecting this. That's coming through very clearly. And there's something being highlighted about how they allocate their time when they are away from you. When they are alone or when they're not distracted, with their day-to-day -day lives, your energy completely takes over. So you will be shocked to see how often they think about you and what these thoughts actually consist of. This is someone who has essentially created this space where you exist in their world. But on the outside, you will have no way to tell that this is actually happening. It's almost as if your energy completely lingers throughout the day but at night, it kind of overtakes them, okay? And they recall really deep, intimate moments with you. This is someone who is very, very detail-oriented as well. So they remember the small things about you. I'm getting certain things about your physical appearance, how you walk, the way that you talk. But what sticks out the most is how you make them feel, okay? And this is highlighting the fact that although things may seem very, very quiet on the outside of your connection, this is someone who is definitely allocating a particular time of their day to recreate this feeling that you gave them. And this is something that's incredibly alluring and very sensual, okay? So although they have mixed feelings about you in this connection, they are absolutely holding on to you in this way. And depending on where you are in connection to them energetically, you can feel this as well, but I'm getting that you definitely question what you're feeling. And this is another thing that you both have in common. Because there's been so much time and space between you and this masculine, it's almost as if you both are presenting one way in your day-to-day -day lives, interacting in your worlds, but when it comes to how you feel on the inside, this is what's actually being felt by the both of you, okay? So this is very, 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 very interesting energy. Let's get the next message here. Wow. So the next message we have here is, it's too late. Hmm. Divine Feminine, you may not be aware of this, but your masculine is under the impression that your connection is over, okay? There are a lot of things that's happening that's really confusing them. And from their perspective, there was always a reason to question your connection. But at this time, they're focused on a certain timeline. This is someone who has always viewed you and your connection through the lens of time, okay? And you may have picked up on this in the way that they engaged you. There has always been this need to take their time with you, 
but there's also this really impulsive energy that they would have with you as well, where they wanted to move extremely fast, okay? And they go back and forth between these two energies constantly. So if you feel as if you bring out two totally different sides of your person, this is why. They've always had this underlying feeling that there was so much more to your connection than they were aware of. And while this does confuse them, they find this intriguing, okay? Um, this kind of adds to the attraction that they have for you as well, because there's this air of uncertainty with you, Divine Feminine, almost as if time doesn't even really exist when it comes to you. If your person were to be 100% honest with you, they really feel like they get lost in you, okay? But something definitely shifted when the communication began to phase out. Yeah, this is something that may have caught them totally off guard as well. And I'm getting clearly that they were not prepared for what they're experiencing in your absence. And they don't really know how to process what this means. So your person is actually under the impression that your connection is over and they don't know how to feel. They don't even want to accept this because of what you mean to them. But they don't have anything else concrete to really go off of at this time as well. I'm also picking up on this underlying energy of anger as well, okay? It's almost like the fact that they even have to come to this conclusion that your connection is over is very unsettling to them, okay? It's almost as if they need proof. And this is tapping into that impulsive energy as well. They need to prove themselves wrong about you. This is a masculine who is very, very logical, but when it comes to you, okay, something continuously nudges them to go deeper, to think deeper, to feel deeper, to kind of explore the things that they normally don't want to touch, okay? So they definitely want answers at this time. They just don't know how to go about getting them. They're also a little apprehensive when it comes to your energy, Divine Feminine, um, and this is around approaching you, okay? It's like something about approaching you really, really worries them. And because they're considering how you feel as well, this is really adding to their confusion. So if you're wondering what your person is thinking about you while they are away from you, this is definitely giving you a closer look at their mental and emotional process at this time, okay? They are hyper-focused on the timing of your connection. And I feel like that's an element to this connection that has always confused them because you have a very timeless energy, Divine Feminine, almost like they get lost, almost like, you know, they can't really keep up. And that's because this connection is not linear, okay? Your person may definitely be feeling this in a very, very real way. Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have here is, my feelings for you are real. Wow. Yeah, there's like this underlying energy of this masculine really, really wanting to prove themselves wrong about you, divine feminine. It's like their thoughts may be all over the place. You may be picking up on this confused energy. A lot of you may be feeling activations within your heart chakra because there's a lot of information that's being transferred from you to your person and vice versa, okay? Okay, I'm getting the word test very clearly with this energy here. So your connection is currently being tested and this is taking place because there has been a heavy energy of doubt coming from this masculine and this is changing the flow of the energy in your connection. This is something that started out very slow for your person, but it automatically took a turn when things begin to speed up, when they begin to really fall deeply for you. But there's definitely been some type of interference here on a 3D level. And this is creating heavy contrast between you and your masculine. I keep getting the word change very clearly as well. So a lot has changed as far as the way they viewed this connection in the beginning until now. And you may definitely feel like your person has completely shut you out energetically, but there's something deep within their cells that's still holding space for you. The thing is that there's such a coldness 
that I'm picking up on that this may be hard to read. The way that they're presenting externally is as if this connection is over, as if this connection may not be real, okay? And the deep emotional pain that they feel is way too intense for them to even touch it at this time. So they're avoiding it. What's also interesting though, is that this is an energy coming through very strongly for both Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And what's interesting is that although you both are not addressing what it is that you're feeling internally, there's something deep within you both that's actually seeking answers. And this desire is so strong within the both of you that it's beginning to manifest, okay? And this energy is about to show up in your lives in a very real way. And I'm getting that it's gonna happen when you both least expect it. The main thing that's coming through here is the power of desire. And this energy is so strong, especially within the twin flame dynamic, that even if your actions seem to be unaligned, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, coupled with this intense emotion is really the recipe for creation. So you and your person actually have no idea that while you're actually questioning the validity of this connection internally, both of your energies are sending out a very different vibration, okay? In Divine Feminine, I keep getting Mara, you know, with, with your energy. So I feel like you have definitely begun to mirror your masculine in a certain way. You may be directly responding to the energy that you are receiving to them externally or even on a 3D level because things seem to be stagnant or there seems to be no movement or no communication here. But the way that you feel about one another is very, very real. And this is what's being communicated and this is the energetic vibe that's kind of being held right now, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yeah. The next message we have here is divine order. This is a very powerful connection, okay? If you're resonating with this message so far, your connection you are in a connection that has an opening in it, okay? And I'm kind of being given an overview of this energy, so I hope that it's coming through clearly. But what you see as a separation period is really an opening. And this is awakening your connection to an excruciating truth within the twin flame dynamic. And that truth is that although God chose you for this journey, you both still have free will. And this may feel like a test because there are moments when God wants to see exactly how you will fill the space. Will it be a time of healing and love and growth and expansion? Or will it be a time to allow the fear and the doubt to create distractions within your connection? This connection that I'm picking up on is one that began with a deep desire for higher love. I'm getting that you and your person were aligned because you have this capacity to love at such a deep and passionate level, okay? But there are moments for whatever reason where there are gaps in the communication or there's even some form of misunderstanding or delays where you and your person really go to this place of denial about how you feel about one another because there are so many elements of your connection that just don't make sense, okay? A lot of what you feel on the inside gets lost on the outside. And honestly, it causes both of you a great deal of pain. And I'm getting that you both know how to hide it very, very well. So you know how to blend in. You know how to present and live your life and handle your business you know, as if nothing is bothering you, but there's something really deep inside the both of you right now that's really pulling on one another. And what's also interesting is that although you may be presenting one way, I'm getting clearly that you both are actually manifesting one another. There is still something there, something very, very powerful. For some of you, you really feel that this connection is over, okay? And that you're being called to go in another direction but there's still this deep need for confirmation. And I'm getting that this will be coming to both of you very, very soon. 
for those of you that have been manifesting some form of physical contact with your person, this will be a faded event. I'm getting that it will not make sense at all. And it will definitely put you and your person in a position where you do not have time to be logical. Okay, this will be a meeting of the hearts, a divine order. Because ultimately, there's something deep inside both of you that has been seeking this. And that's the thing about intention. It's very, very powerful. But it's even more amplified when both you and your masculine are seeking the same thing at a heart level. So while there may be heavy contrast in your actions, there's this sacred exchange happening deep within the heart space in this connection, okay? I'm also getting that you both are about to come into the awareness that your hearts are kind of being reserved for one another. This may be specific, but I'm getting a little resistance coming through here as well, where although there is time and space to explore at this time, and there may be this opening period in your connection, deep down, the both of you are subconsciously rejecting this idea, okay? And there's a much deeper reason why this is happening. This is a connection that is absolutely divine, okay? And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it doesn't matter what's happening, how much time has passed. There's this thing where you both are literally kind of reserving your heart space for one another. And it's so powerful that things are beginning to shift in the universe, okay? Something divine is definitely happening in this connection in the way that you both can feel in a very, very real way. And I feel like this is also adding to the level of attraction that your masculine feels for you. This is why they feel that your connection is completely unpredictable because they have no control over the timeline. And this is tapping into the energy of the twin flame dynamic, letting you know that this is not a linear connection. This is not a 3D connection, okay? This is a divine order. Wow. Let's get the last message here. Yeah. The last message we have is third eye chakra. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up on your energy here very, very clearly. So you are someone who is very spiritually inclined, but specifically you have a extremely powerful third eye chakra. Okay. And I'm getting that what happens next in your connection will literally reveal to you all you need to know about your divine masculine. There's such an emotional energy coming through here where you are literally calling for the truth. And you're at this point where you're actually open and ready to receive it. I don't know what you did or what you said but you really set forth a very powerful force in the universe in the recent past. And everything that you have been silently wondering is about to come to you by way of divine clarity. And this is happening in this way because more than anything, you're asking God to reveal to you your divine masculine's character, okay? You want to know who is this soul that God assigned to you, okay? What are they made of? What do they believe and how do they see the world? And do they live their lives operating from a place of love or from a place of fear? You know, are things changing? Is their character changing depending on if they are presenting in front of you or if they are away from you? This feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you know who you are and you also know the power of your energy. And I don't know what you've been doing, but there's definitely divine protection around you and your heart space. And you, you've come to this place, Divine Feminine, where you know that your energy was created to align with Divine Masculine energy because you are much too powerful to pour into a masculine that is unaware of who they really are. And if you're being 100% honest, there have been times that your person have made you question who they are. But because your heart is open and ready for the truth, you are absolutely about to receive it because you are the divine feminine. And when you put out such a powerful call like that to your masculine, they must show up, okay? This may be physically, this could be energetically, but they always show up for you. And this is something that you're standing in 
And this is something that your vibration is sending out into the universe, okay? And this is reaching your masculine in a very, very powerful way. This may be a connection that has been dead silent, okay? Where you have taken that silence and really begin to pour into yourself and ask yourself questions about your connection. Wondering if this is a sign from the universe for you to move on. If this is a sign from the universe for you to pursue other things. For you to do other things as it pertains to your love life. You know, this is something that's affecting both you and your masculine. But you are about to receive a very, very powerful confirmation from the Most High because this is a connection that is very, very intentional. So although you and your person may be under the impression that it's too late or that they have run out of time when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, something is about to happen to prove to the both of you that you are not operating in a linear connection. And also that anytime that you are separated, there's a much higher purpose for it. I'm also getting that this is a time to pay very close attention to your intuition and also your dream state may be very active and sending you signs on how the next phase of your connection will be playing out, okay? Um, third eye chakra energy is very heavy in your connection right now. A lot of telepathic communication. Do not second guess what it is that you are receiving divine feminine. You are directly connected to your person's chakra system okay and this is definitely being confirmed for you if you were doubting that in any kind of way okay loves i'm going to go ahead and end the reading here if you resonated with this message please be sure to hit the like button on the way out if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in the next video bye